I already have old inventory as a reseller. It's a variety of products. What would you suggest to liquidate quick? Yeah, we've had this, I think, almost every call, and there's no easy answer. Um, the best way to do it is to slash your price. Um, you can try to go, if, if you're already selling on Amazon, Catherine, you can try to use their liquidation services, but we, have, we haven't seen, I haven't heard anyone getting a great deal out of them. Um, you're lucky to get 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. Um, and also, if your product's not selling, then not many people are going to want to buy it anyway. Like they're just not going to do that because there's, there's so much out there. Um, and I don't think we have a lot of good resources because at the end of the day, you're basically saying, how can I make someone buy my product? Or, I mean, right. It's like, it may not be a customer, but it can be like a, a large bulk company wanting to do that. And unless they can sell it to someone else, they're not going to want to buy it. So there's no easy answer out there other than, um, like I said, trying Amazon. Also, if the inventory you can use later on, as a bonus, like what we still do, when we have products that we discontinue or get returns from Amazon that you know are still perfectly good, we give them away as bonuses. You can bundle them together and just give customers something uh, as a bonus. Buy today and get this free little lantern, this free flashlight, whatever. They're great for that. Um, just because I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck. I don't know. I don't know what the product is. I don't know how much you have, Captain, but you probably won't have a lot of luck getting cash out of it. So if you're in the U.S., you can get them shipped to you. I keep them and then kind of give them away as bonuses. We do have it on our list. To try and find some good, um, yeah, my shop, uh, <laughs> to try and find some good liquidation services. However, they're hard to find. I mean, they're just really hard to find because at the end of the day, it's like saying, "How can I find customers to buy my products that no one else wants?" Right. Um, so if we get that, we will let you know. Um, but yeah, use Amazon or uh, potentially keep them if you can and give them away as bonuses. I started doing something also, and kind of kind of share here. I didn't realize how much inventory I've had over the years. I have a lot of products that we've discontinued and they're sitting at one of the warehouses we have at our kind of warehouse here at the house, my dad's house in his garage. We have lots of products that are brand new that we just discontinued because at the time they weren't taken off for us. And so we wanted to move on to it. It's a better ROI for us to stop this product and then sell something else that was gonna do better. Um, and I have some cases that have like 500 units of these. Um, I am re I'm like testing them out re and reselling them. It's a whole family project here. And we're now reselling them for cheap uh, because now that we're selling on Shopify, we have a list uh, and we're bundling these with other products. We're selling them for cheap where I'm at least getting cash out of them. And so it may be, the reason I mentioned that, it may be something happened that if they're not going to expire, um, keep around. You may be able to sell them later on once you have a list on Shopify. And also, like I said, sell them as bonuses. I've rambled. So Devin, what about you? Any Any advice? Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about, uh, I can't tell if you were mentioning Amazon or just like you have these things sitting at your house. Um, you know, if it's Amazon, you obviously going with a cheap price, pushing your ads is really the only thing you can do. Um, if you're talking about like other places, honestly, list them on eBay um, and, you know, kind of just let it, you know, let it hang out until it, it sells kind of thing. Like, um, I don't know. We've been working on, you know, potentially putting a course together regarding like flipping stuff on eBay. And, uh, you know, that's something that my wife and I have kind of just like added here and there. We'll, we'll go to Goodwill, find some cool stuff and then flip them on eBay. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's like you kind of randomly get a few sales each week or whatever. So, um, you know, that could be a good option.